sorry, I just need it. Yes, whatever. Um, I'm sorry about all the stuff, but as soon as I find somewhere to live... I'll... No, it's fine, Rose, don't worry. It's really nice of you to take me in. Yes. I didn't know people took those credit check things seriously, but... Really? Anyway, that guy Josh, he's going to come with his van and help me shift my things to some storage place his mates run. Well, I don't want to be pedantic, Rose, but Josh is still serving 18 months in Pentonville for receiving stolen goods. Right. Well, as soon as I get him out of Pentonville, he's, uh, he's going to come with his van. And where is this storage space? It's, uh, it's up west somewhere, I think he said. <clears throat> oh, yeah, sorry. I just hold it. Yes. It's a bit of a funny colour. No, I like it OK. You don't think it looks like a tart's boudoir? No, no, not really. You get used to it. Oh, I don't get an office. This is the new boss, who's obviously had a taste bypass. New boss, eh? Yeah, some career arse liquor from a strategic think tank, whatever the hell that is. Beats me. Rose? Yeah, in a minute. He has a complete wally, apparently, but then again, they always are. Rose? For God's sake, Maloney, what is it? So, I'm Wallace Camford. And uh, I just want you to know that I'm excited and I'm flattered by this appointment because for a long time I've uh, admired the fantastic work that the Criminal Justice Review Agency does. But, want a few changes. Uh, I think we can improve efficiency. Uh, I think we can share tasks and resources. And I really do think that we can probably have a more team-based approach, wouldn't you say? That's good. Well, listen, hey, any questions? I'm all team-based. I don't quite understand. Rose, isn't it? I work with Mr Maloney here. We do everything together. Is that right? Uh, we, 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 we do tend to, um, collaborate, yeah. So I don't quite see... Listen, I think, for example, that senior case managers could take an interest in the minor cases and not just the headline grabbers. Such as? Well, I understand that we've got a backlog of disputed shoplifting appeals, for example. Mm. Now, listen, that is just the kind of area where your experience can really count. You know? Wouldn't you say? How am I supposed to know he's down with the kids and wants to paint his own office? Well, maybe because his picture was in the CJRA Journal and the Times and the Guardian. That. My shoplifting case is rather sweet, I think. Yours now. Jesus, how many offences? 326. And he says he's innocent. He says he's the victim of the worldwide CCTV conspiracy run by the CIA, what? actually. Hey. Bloody marvellous. Thanks, Joyce. Oh, and there's a policeman here to see you. The car has number plates removed. So we're trying to trace it by type and year. But there are over 400 red Mark II Toyota Corollas, and none of them registered to a Dennis Boland. Find a locked security box under the rear seat of his car, containing various documents, driver's license, NHS cards, and this. Now, we're trying to trace him on the computer, but no luck. Does the name mean anything to you? We're reviewing his conviction for rape. All right. Maybe somebody did have good reason for torturing him with an iron and strapping him into the front seat of his car and waiting for the tide to come in. No, there couldn't be a reason. Why not? Because he's still in prison. Rose. Mr Maloney? I hope this is good news. I've got a bit on the mark over here. Fiverr says it's good news, eh, Mark? Shut up, Dennis. And a fiver is a lot of spondule on Section 42, so... All right. Dennis, this is Detective Sergeant Mallon. Huh. <laughs> OK. And what have you got to do with me? Mr Boland, 
this your driving license? Yeah, looks like it. Found in a car by the Thames this morning, Dennis. Body inside. I need you to identify him. I don't know. Jesus. Who's done that? Is he saying I had something to do with it? I don't think he's saying anything, Dennis, but obviously there's a bit of curiosity. I don't know this guy, OK? Take a closer look. Is he a relative? Friend? Business associate? Rose, do I... Just look again, please. I... I can't help you here. So, look, I've got no reason to lie I've to... got no reason to believe anything you say, Dennis. You're a convicted sex offender, and it gets my back up just being in the same room as you. OK. OK. Are you going to explain to him, Rose, that I am not a sex offender, that I didn't hurt or rape anyone? We're examining the safety of your conviction, yeah. Is it a relative or a friend? I have no sisters or brothers. My mum's dead. My dad... God knows. And since you lot framed me up for rape, I'm a little thin on the friend in front. Now, why don't you piss off? No. Well, I'll leave that with you to look at. Don't you ever tell me to piss off again, Shelley. Jesus. What do you think you're doing? So sue me? Did you see anything? No. Come on, Mark. Rose, you saw that. You saw him do that. I want him charged. You just leave it, Dennis. I don't know this guy, OK? OK? OK. Stay calm. Well, I thought you had something for me. Does, does he have to be here all the time? Which is, I love you, Mark. I think we'll be all right. It will be bad news, Dennis. Fiverr says it's bad news. We managed to track down the victim at last. I don't believe we call her the victim. She, she wanted to have sex with me. Yes, but before we speak to her, we'd like you to go through your account one more time. Oh, Christ, now, come on. We know this by heart. Once more for luck, eh? I'd been cabin for about 11 hours before I picked her up. It's 15, please. I haven't got any money. I'll drive to a cash point. I haven't got anything. Police station, then. I'll find whatever shit you're on. You haven't got a licence for this cab. You want to bet on it? What colour was her dress? <laughs> it was dark. What does it matter? It all matters. Get in the back. I can't remember what bloody colour it was. You're not going to make me say what kind of sex we had again, are you? It, it was bloody miserable. I wasn't proud of myself. I didn't force her, I didn't hurt her, and I walked her to her door afterwards. Take care of yourself, love. Well, I'm sure she was very grateful. OK. So what have you got for me? You finally got a full disclosure from the original prosecution. And? Information was withheld from your defence lawyer. Like what? We'll notify your lawyer after we've spoken to her if there's anything to know, OK? And why don't you just... OK, um, speak to Danny. Yeah, um, that's it. Think about him. How'd he get your licence? And my card? Are you two being dim on purpose? My case is under review. The police are running interference, are trying to involve me in random cases. I'm in jail! <laughs> if you're pissing me about, Dennis, I will drop you so fast your balls will come out of your ears. <laughs> Good 
Good news, Mark. You're out of fiver. Out of time, Bandy. I'm going to cut off your ears, you pervy little toad. I'll bet your trainers against my telly. I'll be out of here in a month with my ears intact, and you still thumbing your wank mag. Take that? Yeah, I'll take that. Come on. And I'll wear your trainers while I bang your good lady with the inverted nipples. <laughs> I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll <laughs> over this place. It's the claustrophobia. I think it's the worst part, the punishment. It's not nice. You no, know, to have to live shoulder to shoulder with the same people in your face the whole time. Nightmare. We could go home and have a takeaway. He's lying, you know. Sorry? He's lying when he says nobody comes to visit him. Every second Tuesday, they're all over each other. Who? The girl that comes. Just watch him. It's all bollocks. I see through him. I don't think that guy gets out enough. Do you think Dennis knew the dead guy in the car? He's a very good liar if he did. Do you think he's a rapist? I'm not sure, but something's going on. Could be a coincidence. Do you believe that? No. My turn to do food tonight. I fancy a Chinese. Do you fancy a Chinese? Whatever. What did we have last time? Chinese. Oh. Do you ever, you know, cook food, Rose? No. Why is that? There's no job for a woman, Maloney. <laughs> I had to get out of there, so I just got in the first cab I could. His cab. He did walk me home. It was only to let me know he knew where I lived. You never saw Dennis Boland's face throughout the attack. It was dark. He'd taken the light out of his car. I got the registration number and the make. That was enough. And it's not true that you offered to have sex with him? No! No, it's not true! Christ my! Shit. What have you brought me here for? You believe him. Lola, I'm sorry this is not about belief. This is to do with whether a conviction is safe. We have to ask these questions. Maybe there was an element of consent. It's a grey area. What kind of woman are you? He raped me. He knew exactly what to do. I'm going now. No, miss. Please. But we're not the police. You do understand that? Yeah. The police were nice to me. They believed me. Well, I'm really very sorry, Miss Shaw. I truly am. But, um, we have to ask you about something that's come up. When the police investigated your attack, they spoke to your employers at Markham's Associated Printers, who told them that you'd been sacked. They suspected you were using drugs and had been stealing petty cash, and that when the office manager confronted you, you offered to have sex with him. We also have statements from the nightclub you used to go to, Suki's in Dagnum, where you were well known and barred for importuning clients. I had a problem. I used crack. That's all I was into it. Yes, but the police and the prosecution should have informed Mr. Boland's lawyers. Lola, 
Do you still use drugs? You piss off. Both of you piss off. Well, the statements exist. They should have been disclosed to the defence. We have to note it. It's all right. Let's see what else we could have done. Are you completely lacking in empathy? What? Empathy. The ability to be alongside somebody else's emotions. I know what empathy means, Rose. Don't do that. What? Hiya. Working late. What a shoplifting to deal with. On top of everything else. Yep. Yeah. Well, bum up. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to. Uh... Mm -mm. Doesn't matter. Nobody about, so. Uh... Yeah. I'm trying to stop. Promise Maloney. Uh, Maloney isn't here. Do you often work late? I suppose. No life? No. Sorry I called you a Wally yesterday. It was a uh, career arse licker. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, you called me in the Tarts boudoir. They say you're the best investigator here. Yes, they do. Well, the police are on my back about that body on the beach. I'm not going to release any information to the press until they know who he is, so... Um, what can we tell them? Berlin denies all knowledge, says the police are trying to get him. And, um, looks like they withheld evidence from the original trial, so... Well, wanted to get the man. He had no previous history, a couple of bans for driving without insurance, but that's it. And he just isn't reading rapist to me. Can you read a rapist? Probably not. Just because... If you can't read your client, well, maybe that's... because he doesn't want you to. So, you know, just, just stay on him, because I don't want to look silly in my first week, do I? No. Do I still have to do this shoplifting file? Oh, give it to me. No, it's just like, I probably should learn how to do this, you know? Jesus. Do you want to give us a clue? Guilty as sin. Thanks. You're not going to do those now, are you? I've no life. That's why we're good, Rose. This is why we're good. Boland's girlfriend. She visits the same day, same time for three years. The rapists have girlfriends? No, I'd really like to know. I'd be amazed. Anyway, they're all innocent, of course. Seems strange. What's strange is all these guys locked up in here, convicted of unspeakable crimes, and they've all got partners who love and care for them. And, and we haven't. I was trying to avoid that thought. Do you manage it? No. Here we go. Blue team to immediately. What's her name? You have to see the governor about that. I've got to go. Why is he so upset? What's happened? We showed him a picture of a dead man. Oh, come on. You're going to speak to him? No. Nope. Get her name from the governor? No. Nope. Behave in an impulsive, unprofessional, potentially compromising way. You know me so well.
Isn't there a law against following people? Not discreetly. Kind of classy for a minicab driver's girlfriend, wouldn't you say? So what do we do now? Yes? Yes, my name's Maloney. I'm from the Criminal Justice Review Agency. The what? The Criminal Justice Review Agency. Would it be possible for me to come in? I never heard of it. It's about Dennis Boland. Cruise control and the upgrade stereo system. Please, go yeah. away. Hold on. Banda! Yeah? Who is it? Malik, I... Why have you come to my house? I just wanted to talk to you about some of the Liberal Democrat policies that we hope will excite you and encourage you to vote for us in the local elections. We don't vote. Well, can I leave you a leaflet? Didn't you hear me? Piss off. OK. What do you mean it isn't available in that model? Huh? It's a one... You need to come to this address at 7 o'clock. No. We need to discuss this further or I'll come back tomorrow. Please. No. And we hope we can rely on your vote in the future. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. You know, us always describe. I know. I'll buy you dinner. Give me that name again? Yeah, got it. Thanks, Bill. We owe you. She's not coming. Story of your life. Jesus! What are you guys into? My contact almost jumped out of his skin when I gave him that address. Why? Who is she? Well, she's nobody, but he's Malik Dmitriev. Nasty. In what way? People traffic a nasty, drug nasty, cut your toes off one by one nasty. My guy at the Serious Crime Squad said he's untouchable. Come on, Joyce. Nobody's untouchable. He will kill me for speaking to you. Who are you? Vanda Berkov. I belong to Dimitriev. You're married to him? His girlfriend? I mean, I belong to him. Right, well, if there's anything else you want me to find out. Thanks, Joyce. We saw you with Dennis Boland today. That's an unusual relationship. Stay away from us. You know nothing about this. Miss Berkov, I don't know what your connection to Dennis is. But we know he told you about the man in the car. Can I show you what they did to him? It's not very easy to look at, I know. Do you know who this is? <laughs> hey, Rose! Mr. Maloney. Uh, you haven't met Danny, my lawyer. Nice. You've been doing really great for Dennis. Right. Thanks for coming. You got the stuff the prosecution held back? Yeah, I interviewed Lady Shaw. And she's a bad prosecution witness, it turns out, right? Yes. I told you. He bet me you can get me out in under four years. Oh, yeah? What did he bet? Uh, I don't know. It was nothing much. Anyway. We met Vonda last night. Vonda? So we aren't going to carry on being stupid about this, are we? What did she tell you? She told us that this is your brother. Obviously, we told her you didn't have a brother. And she said we should speak to you because she was worried that if she said any more, someone might kill her. So this might be the moment, lads. Feel free. Do we have any guarantee of client confidentiality? Maloney? No. Or shall we just call the police? Listen, I'm, I'm begging you. Yes, you are. 
Dennis. So who is this? See, I'm... Actually... My name is Henry Piers Callahan. Harry. And this is... This is uh, my brother. Carl. His name is Carl. Does this mean that after you've told us what you're going to tell us, we could all be party to a conspiracy? Yes. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'm really very sorry about your brother. Carl was... Carl always stuck by me. Um, once it started, it was, um, it was... We couldn't stop. It just, it just got out of hand. Um, and now, it, it's so fucked up. Everything. Carl's dead, Danny. Into that. And then you, Danny. Will you explain all this to the prison governor right now? Full name to start, please. My name is Harry Callahan. In August 2001. I was working as a, an offshore investments manager for Future Life Ventures at Canary Wharf. There was a gang of us. We just like having a laugh. That's a, mainly we gambled. Yes! Shit, man! This is shit! Come on, Harry, wise up! Nah, I mean it. Let's do something interesting. You, Dame, how much you got there? A couple of grand. All right, lay me on some something. On a dog? Nah, something interesting! Come on! Jesus, has nobody got any imagination around here? <laughs> Look, why don't you just bet him you can shag the next girl that comes out of them box? Whoever she is. <laughs> my own brother. Genius. Whoever she is, what? Right? Yep, I want all that money and your Audi. And half your bonus. You make your notes, Danny. Got it, H. Cash, car. What's your bonus? 75k. <sighs> Jesus, what, against what? The flat. Harry, oh, steady, bro. No, 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 no worries, bruv. You know I'm flaming irresistible. Damon. Started hanging around at the dog track for a couple of weeks, making friendly. She didn't try and stop it. Did you know what Malik Dmitriev did? It, uh, it didn't take long to, to work it out. <laughs> or for him to work out that I could help him. Help him do what? Anything. All right. 
Very good. Anything to stay close to her. She's beautiful, yes? Oh, yes, and smart. You know, when she came here first, she was just a whore, you know? And now, I trust her with everything. Are you the kind of person, Harry, that a man can trust? Of course. I would hope so, Harry. She says you work in a bank. Investment fund. Mm. Yes, I have funds. That kind of money that needs a home. You understand? Sure. Good. Speak to her. Like I said, she deals with everything. She hated him. He brought her over from Armenia under the, the floor of a lorry and uh, rented her out. Until she worked out how to make herself indispensable to him and uh, how to make him crazy about her. And in spite of that, you started seeing her? Have you ever been in love, Mr. Maloney? Well, well, you haven't, then, if you don't know. And she loves me right back. Even in here. For four years. I'd do anything for her. You helped her steal Demetrius' money. How much? I diverted uh, 2.4 million into an unlisted Liechtenstein account in my name. Jesus. He found out, of course. About Vonda or the money? Christ, no, just the cash. Or she'd be dead now. That's why I'm in here. So he could still believe in her. Okay. So what happened next? Is this you, Danny? Harry was in trouble, like serious trouble. Malik's men had caught up with him. He'd only just got away. For Christ's sakes, Harry, give the money back. Say it was a mistake. He knows I took the money. If he's some kind of heavy guy, no, he's the heavy guy. Well, what does he do? Everything. He kills people there. He can find me anywhere. And if he thinks. If he thinks Vonda had anything to do with it, oh, God. <laughs> he stayed in my flat for a couple of days. But he was just losing it. He was trying to think of a way how he could disappear and still see the girl he loved. Mr. Boland. And then we had a stroke of luck. Yeah. And it was perfect. I couldn't believe the idea I was having. Can you help me? Some stupid whore is saying that I raped her and it's total bollocks. Have you been arrested and charged? Not yet. The police came round my flat, but I was out in my cab. What did they do that for? Some bitch tricked me into screwing her. She stole my money and now she's trying to say... Hang on, Mr. Boland. Hang on. Can you sort it out? She's lying. His story checked out. I went and asked about her. She'd done it before. I made sure it was just a classic shakedown, the poor sod. OK. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You can forget about the fair. No. I want your cash. Or I'll tell people you raped me. What? Just give it to me, wanker. People saw me get in your cab. No, no, no! Ow, ow. Get out of ow. my car! Ow. Fucking ropey cat! Ow. Come on! Bastard! Bastard, I'll get you back! You see, it was very simple. We just needed to find a place where Dmitriev would never look. So we paid Boland to go away. Harry took his place.
going to be all right. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Okay. I promise. Hurry. Carl helped me. He helped me memorize everything about Dennis Boland. And he kept all the stuff so he could remind me in case I forgot anything. Where he was brought up, what schools he went to, uh, his middle name, everything. It didn't take long. I just became Dennis Boland. Number two, I think. I think it was dark. That's all right, love. You've done really well. How much did you pay Boland? Quarter of a million to disappear forever. He was a loner. He had no relatives. He was bloody delighted with that. He just went away. Where? I don't know. Up north. If he's still invisible after four years, he gets another 100,000. Yeah, that's a potential rapist to walk away. He was no rapist. She shook him down for drugs money. How'd you know that? The CPS are always a mess. They sent me the withheld files by mistake. Anyway, I asked around the club, like the police did. You see, I knew I could say that the prosecution had withheld evidence at any time, and I would have a case to get him out. Time would have passed, Dmitriev would have forgot about his money, how he could come out, carry on somewhere, a long way away, hopefully with Vonda. He just won't be Harry anymore. I don't understand why you didn't just go away. He'd have found us. If you blow the whistle on this now, Dmitriev will know where Harry is and he will kill him. Just like Carl, he found him and he tortured him to death. How do you know Carl didn't tell him? I'm still alive. Carl... loved me. So he could... he could never tell. So what are you gonna do? I'm sorry, Maloney. I was just looking for somewhere to plug my hair dryer in. Yeah, well, you uh, unplugged the oxygen pump and the water heater. I'm sorry. Very sensitive. My nieces love them. Right, Maloney. I'm sorry. I'll buy you new ones. Nobody will know the difference. Well, unique markings on this one, you see. Great crested angelfish. Cost 200 quid. Are you sure it's dead? I think we should at least consider the possibility of keeping quiet about Harry. How's that, Rose? We recommend Harry's case for appeal. Dennis Boland's. Yeah, all right. Harry gets released, disappears with Vonda. Who's harmed? Well, they disappear with 2.4 million of illegal money. Mm. They have to hand it over. Who to? Well, that's detail. Well, it's the detail in your world, Rose. No, we have to tell Wallace about this. No, don't you understand? If we... All right, I've already told him. What? I emailed him. I'm sorry, Rose, but there are some lines we don't cross. But that's shit, Maloney. We're supposed to trust each other. Well, I'm sorry again, but it's done. Now, can we please stop talking about work? But they love each other. She's had this terrible, exploited life, and she's finally trying to make something. Rose! Can we talk about this tomorrow in the office? No! 
No, we need to talk about this now, Maloney. I think we need to start investigating the original crime. We find Boland wherever he is, we make sure he's innocent. But that leaves Demetria free. He's murdered Harry's brother, so what are we going to do about that, Maloney? Maloney? Dimitriev, born 1958, Kiev, imprisoned in 1993, 16 counts of murder, including three minors, uh, racketeering, prostitution, mysteriously released in 97. Interpol files relate to 98, 2000, 2001, when he bought uh, two nightclubs and a snook hall in Tottenham. Uh, no UK police record. They're waiting for him to do something wrong, basically. And that's... Uh, well, we can get without drawing attention to ourselves. Thanks, Joyce. <laughs> Do you want me to go? No. No. I mean, listen, we are off the record here, so if you don't want to be a part of this, then... No, no. If I can help these guys, I want to. Thanks, Joyce. Good. OK, well, we understand, don't we, that unless we report this, we will be breaking the law. Come on, Wallace, we're not children. We understand that, Wallace, but what we need to know is what do we do now? OK. If we hand them over, do we have confidence that the police will deal with Dmitriev before he gets the chance to escape or kill Mr Callahan and his girlfriend? We don't have any evidence against him without our client's cooperation, and Harry's scared. He's really totally petrified, and I would be too if I were him. Right, I've deleted the email report that you sent me and I'm suggesting that you send it to me again in 48 hours. Sorry? At which point I will take the appropriate action. That's it? So that gives you two days to run around and do your inimitable thing. That's what you want, isn't it? No. Yes. Listen, I don't want to get fired in my first month for perverting, perverting the, the course, course of justice, thank you. And you want to solve your case, show everyone how wonderful you are and how well you get on. So, uh, it's a compromise. You know, I just don't know about it. Oh, well, nice move, Wallace. So if it all goes wrong, you deny everything, we get the blame, is that it? Yeah. I used to work for Tony Blair. <laughs> and I've got every confidence in you all. So, uh, what was the plan again? Oh, you want to talk about it now, do you? Uh, that's 39 minutes of your 48 hours gone. CJRA? Yes. Just a minute. A solicitor representing Lola Shaw. They want to introduce a new statement. Piss off. We need to speak to you, Lola. No, I spoke to my lawyer. That's all there is to it. You can read the statement. You really think it's that easy? I've been getting some stuff. Trying to live a bit more normally. 
I'm taking any drugs for three months now. Great. That's great. Yeah. Why should I be the victim always? You better sit down. So? So, uh, why have you changed your story? You want to tell the truth? Why now? I wasn't attacked. You were right. Everybody was right about me. I was... I am a drug addict. I stole money to get drugs. I tricked men to get money for drugs. And Dennis Boland? Yeah. He won't go along with it. I was... I wasn't a very nice person. And if his case comes up for appeal? I would say so. I lied. The police will charge you with wasting their time. Possibly perjury. You'll be prosecuted. Look, I've changed now. I want to tell the truth. So now you're claiming that Dennis Boland didn't rape you? I'm very ashamed of myself. They've paid you off, haven't they? I don't know who you're talking about. Vonda. Her name is Vonda. When'd she come and see you? I've never met anyone called Vonda. Well, she paid you. I hope it was worth it. Do you think I'm proud of what I've become? I stole and screwed to get money. I've got a degree. My parents haven't spoken to me for three years. I'm trying to leave it all behind me now. I did something wrong and I want to make up for it. I told my mum and dad I want to change and they said they'd help me if I started telling the truth about myself, okay? I don't know. I don't know if it is okay. He didn't rape me. Dennis Boland didn't rape me. I made it up and I hope he gets out because I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Do you believe her? I don't know. I mean, even if she was paid off doesn't necessarily mean she's lying. Well, all I can say is Harry and Vonda are going to the ends of the earth for each other. Wish somebody would do that for me. I'm stumped. I really don't know what to do. Well, there's a first time for everything. Yes, funny. Do you really think Wallace will throw us to the wall? Oh, you better believe it, Rose. For the first time in your life, you've got a boss who's cleverer than you. You're acting as if you're enjoying it. How old would you say he is? He's 44, Rose. Mm. Too old for you on past evidence. Well, normally... As well as being a work colleague. Yeah, I know. He's unsuitable for a personal relationship. Totally unsuitable. Be like you and me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let's go. Yeah. I'm telling you we've had no contact with Lola Shaw. None. And you haven't given her money to change her testimony in court? No. You think I'm going to risk my career by bribing a witness? I think that might be the funniest thing you've said so far, Danny. As I work it out, you've aided and abetted the laundering of illegal drug money, been complicit in the theft of £2.4 million, and conspired to facilitate the flight of a suspect in a rape case. Boland didn't do it. How many more times do I have to tell you he's innocent? Harry's innocent, you know? I'm innocent. I just tried to help my friend. How do we know you didn't pay her? Because I don't have any money. Only Harry can withdraw the money. I will have to smuggle a document in for him to sign. So we can pay 100,000 to Mr. Boland. The what? It's four years next week. We have to pay him. How? He'll contact me by email. Oh, Jesus. That is, if you help us. You have to get some evidence on how Dimitri killed Harry's brother. No, it's impossible. Then you tell them. Then we'll consider letting Harry, or should I say Dennis's case, go forward to appeal. But you'll have to surrender the money. Who to? That's detail. The key to all this is getting evidence on Dmitriev. Neither Miss Linda nor I can help you if he goes free. You are fools. Sorry, that's the deal. What'd you say? 
Sergeant Mallon dropped by. He's very keen to speak with you. Sergeant Mallon? It's nice to see you again. Got some information you might be interested in on the bowling case. I know you. You're his lawyer, right? Why? We've been on the wire with the other forces trying to find out who the guy in the car was. And? Nothing. But the cops in Birmingham are very interested in your Dennis Boland. Why is that? Because they've got a copycat on the patch. A minicab driver who rapes his clients and then walks them to their door. Got to the report. He walks them to their door? Exactly the same MO. Even his physical description fits your client. So what do you reckon to that? I think you may have put a rapist out there, Danny. That's it. Game over. Is somebody going to tell me what's going on? I think I can help you, Sergeant Mullen. But only if you help us. So that's him. You sure? Dennis Boland. He's in his 30s, he has a beard, and he walks his victims to the door. Four in the last eight months. Two of the victims feel they could identify him if they saw him again. Jesus, they're going to crucify us. It's not exactly our fault. This last woman was attacked three days ago before we even knew about Harry being... Oh, OK, OK, listen. Christ. OK, we call it in now. OK? We've already called it in. You've what? I think maybe, um, maybe we should listen to what Rose has to say. It will help us all, Wallace. Joyce, thanks for everything. Now piss off. What? You're out of here. Wife's still got a career. OK, go on. They always get the good stuff. Yeah, I know. It's funny, though, isn't it? OK. Oh, this had better be good. £30,000 has gone from my account, Wanda. What was that? I paid a deposit for the Maserati. You asked me before you take my money. I did. You just forgot that it's all. Shit. I have to pay legal cash for legal car. <laughs> Shit. This country, they're so stupid about bureaucracy. They're so pathetic. It's better to be legal on the road. You're right. You're always right. Policeman spoke to me yesterday. What policeman? He came to the club. They said that they found a body. They showed me a picture. It was Carl. How did they know to come to you? How did they know who it was? I don't know. Maybe they asked someone. They knew he was Harry Callahan's brother. I told you about mentioning that bastard's name in my house. You hear, huh? Yes, Malak. You know I'm sorry. He's gone wherever. Nobody steals from me. I will kill anyone who steals from me. Did Carl tell you where Harry was? He would have told me if he knew. What did you do to him? I found him. I burned his bollocks with an iron. I cut his toes off. Then I killed him. Very, very slowly. Harry Callahan will see that. He will see what I can do. And he will know that I never forget. Did you do it by yourself? Yes. You 
you're still beautiful. Ms. Linden tells me you're prepared to testify against Dmitriev. Yes. I know he killed Carl Callahan. I know what he did to him. You do know doing this will place you in danger for the rest of your life. I will do anything if you will help Harry. I don't care for myself now. I... I just want you to help Harry. And you do understand what we must do about Dennis Boland? <laughs> yes. I feel terribly ashamed that these women were attacked because of us. We thought he was innocent. Okay. Better take me through it. Vonda will take the document for Harry to sign to release the £100,000 to pay off Dennis Boland. Danny will withdraw the money and arrange to hand it over to Boland at his office. Mr. Boland, where's my money? <laughs> Sergeant Malham's men can do their job. Hello, Mr. Boland. You what? And get Boland out of the picture. That makes Birmingham safer. And then what? Vonda, you go home and confirm that Dimitrius there. You then leave without alerting him. We need you safe to testify against Dimitrius. That's where Sergeant Malham comes in. office where you'll be interviewed by the police yes Harry's gonna be arrested for perverting the course of justice there's no way around it they'll probably let him off with time served are you Henry Pierce Callahan yeah you can put money on it there you go chap oh, nice. I love you Where is she? around at the moment, but please leave a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I promise. Vonda, hi. Uh, this is Rose. Again. We're, uh, we're getting rather anxious about you, Vonda. The police need to speak to you. I need to speak to you. <sighs> Where the hell are you? Could you, uh, could you please Good, Rose. 
Am I such a nightmare to live with? No, it's just, um... It's just sometimes I need some space, Rose. You've been so kind, Maloney, but I can find somewhere else to live. No, you don't have to. No, it's OK. You took me in, and I appreciate that. No word from Vonda? No. No. We've been had. Yeah. Police interviewed Lola Shaw. She admitted Vonda paid her £30,000 in cash to change her testimony. Thirty grand. Lilla was raped. Well, they let her keep the money. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, I got your present. Oh, thanks, Rose. They didn't have the uh, great crested thing, me. <laughs> Look, um. You don't have to leave. You, you, you stay here until you've found somewhere. No, honestly, I'll be fine. Rose, please stay. OK, then. Where's Vonda? Where is she? Danny? Listen, I've just spent two days being grilled by the cops. I, I didn't have... A... Oh, for Christ's sakes. Haven't they let her go yet? She'll get bail, all right? Shit. She's gone, Harry. What? What? That's it. I'm sorry. She's blown you out. No. Vonda loves me. She wouldn't do that to me. She killed Dmitriev. Didn't they tell you? Dmitriev's... Yeah, he's dead, Harry. She's given you your life back. No. No, uh, she hasn't gone. I mean, um, I, I signed a transfer for the money. Yeah, that was just 100000 for Bolan. No, no. Didn't you read the document? I gave her the lot. All 2.4 million. So she could... So that she could... So she could... Oh, shit. She's waiting. She's waiting for me. I don't think so, Harry. She's waiting for me. I'll bet on it. I'll bet anything on it. I'll bet everything I got on it. Talk to me about Rose. Too, um, complicated. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, tough. Because Wallace wants us to do this together. Not the celebrity bunny boiler, not Annie Sorensen Johnson. Annie, may I introduce myself? This woman was nailed on guilty. There's nothing like an open mind. Child killer. Oh, I see. He wants me to empathise with a fellow obsessive female. God, the man's a genius. You don't like her much, do you? It's that face. Oh, Jesus Christ. No man, then? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that is... No. Just to say how sorry I am and if there's anything I can do. You make me vomit. Long pause. And he said... What was his point? That Annie Sorensen Johnson was really convicted of being rich, spoiled and irritating, not of double manslaughter. He still denies it. She killed my family. Ronnie Johnson. Hi. I want my daughter back! Now she's in, I'm a celebrity prisoner. Get me out of here. Maybe that's why you're pushing 40 and still on your own. I don't like living with you. I like living with you.
That's the same time next Monday. While a brand new drama set in the world of the helicopter medical emergency service who rushed to save lives in the vital 60 minutes after an accident occurs is the golden hour. Don't miss it Wednesday at 9. Back to tonight and the ITV News is next. Thank you.